future of Florida State and the next wave of realignment. Is it going to be the Big Ten? Is it going to be the SEC? Is it going to be staying in the ACC? Is it going to be football independence? Well, according to Mike Alford, football independence, being an independent football program is not an option. Welcome to episode 322 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our ever-growing channel. Smash the like button if you like the content. Share the video with your family and friends. Let's not waste any more time. Please put down your comments in the comments section below the video. The Athletic, Nicole Arbach, FSU, Mike Alford. This was just published about 15 minutes ago. Florida State becoming an independent is not a true option as it considers conference future the athletic director says independence in football is not a true option for Florida State. Athletic director Mike Alford told The Athletic, there has been a great deal of speculation about Florida State's future, either as a member of the Atlantic Coast Conference or elsewhere, where the Seminoles figure out a way out of the league's grant of rights, which binds the schools to each other in the ACC through 2036. Alford said, that Florida State is still analyzing where our options are, but independence does not appear to be one of them. I don't think it's an option because the scheduling and everything that comes along with that and where the media contracts are now, Alfred said Tuesday. But I'm not going to lie to you and say I didn't spend 10 minutes on it. I have a great staff that knows that I want to look at things and know what all my options are, but also have analytics and not just throw something up there. It needs to have some support behind it so we can look at it. Is that a true option? Independence? No, it's not a true option. Notre Dame is an independent football, but an ACC member in all other sports that the conference offers. The Irish have continually expressed their desire to remain independent, assuming they have access to the national championship and a satisfactory media rights deal that supports the athletic department. But they're the last of a dying breed. As Army announced last month, it will be joining the American Athletic Conference and foregoing its football independence, bringing the number of FBS independents down to three. Notre Dame, UConn, and UMass. Washington State and Oregon State, the two remaining Pac-12 members are also in the process of figuring out how they're going to build a football schedule for next season. Independence or quasi-independence can be challenging. Florida State was one of the three schools that voted against the ACC adding Stanford, Cal, and SMU. The Seminoles were also vocal about their push for unequal revenue sharing this spring, believing that they deserve a bigger slice of the pie than their peers because of their brand value and viewership draw. Members of the Florida State Board of Trustees openly discussed, openly discussed potentially leaving the ACC altogether in public forums. Florida State President Rick McCullough cited projections showing that Florida State will fall behind its peers in the Big Ten, the SEC, by as much as $30 million per year by the end of those league's current media deals. The new league's current media deals. The new success initiatives from the ACC tied to new revenue brought in because of its rust word expansion will bring in additional significant money for the athletic departments that achieve football success particularly in the college football playoffs. So if you get to the college football playoffs in the ACC, you're going to get a little bit more money than the rest of the schools when it comes to the media money. Both the Big Ten and SEC are expanding next summer, with the Big Ten adding USC and UCLA, Oregon and Washington to balloon to 18 members, and the SEC adding Oklahoma and Texas to get to 16. Because of the ACC grant of rights, Industry sources have described schools like FSU, Clemson, and UNC as unavailable during the latest conference realignment frenzy. And while all three have had lawyers examine the document 
and see what the options are. None have challenged it yet and tried to get out of the ACC. And finally, in this article, Mike Alfred said his relationship within the ACC and with the commissioner, Jim Phillips, remains great and that his peers understand he is always going to push for Florida State's best interests openly and candidly. And that's why all offseason he believed he needed to push his peers to explore une uneven revenue models. Each institution in the conference has different priorities, Alfred said. <coughs> Excuse me, what's Florida State's priority? It's to win championships and to compete nationally across the board. How do I provide resources and make sure that we're providing those opportunities to our student athletes? I need resources and he still needs them. Whatever this deal was, this unequal revenue sharing deal and the expansion when it comes to SMU, Stanford and California is still not going to bring in the resources that Florida State needs to compete at the highest level in college football to possibly win a national championship against the SEC schools and the Big Ten schools. They're going to have such a great media money advantage as we head towards the highly probable revenue sharing, increased compensation for student athletes. That's why Florida State, that's why, that's why Mike Alford, the athletic director, and the president, McCullough, they're looking at all their options in regards to future realignment for the university. And, well, one option that we can scratch off the list is football independence, becoming an independent football program. Now here at Peek Around the Corner, we've never given that a thought, really. We've never really gone in down the rabbit hole of talking about possible option of football independence for Florida State. We were told by a Florida State money perch that that was not an option in two, late 2022. It's all about Big Ten, SEC, or sticking it out to the ACC until late into the 2030s. We believe here at Peek Around the Corner that Florida State is going to make a push, going to make a push, a declaration in public, that they intend to leave the ACC, that they intend to leave the ACC sometime in the first quarter of 2024. But football independence is not an option. It's difficult enough as it is with Notre Dame. Are they going to be able to get a media contract that satisfy their needs to be able to compete at the highest level of college athletics, especially football? That is highly in doubt as we sit here November 1st, 2023. Florida State, they're not even going to go down that road full of hurdles. Scheduling, media contracts, it's not an option for Florida State. But SEC, Big Ten, those are the two prime options for Florida State and, of course, staying in the ACC. But we believe here at Peek Around the Corner, we have reasons to believe that Florida State is just not smoke, it's fire. Florida State, Clemson, UNC, and possibly one or two other schools. Being in the ACC in 2028, I would bet against it. Until next time, from all of us at PATC to all of you, Please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.